Now page four, the Biden problem. Former Vice President Joe Biden has a big problem. He's not just a buffoon politician who has lived off taxpayer dimes his entire adult life. How did he become so rich on a government salary, by the way? It's not just because he's more low energy than Jeb Bush. It's not because he's creepy or the president says sleepy. Joe Biden has a long history in government, and a lot of it involves bad policy and mistakes, like the time that he threatened to withhold $1 billion in loan guarantees for the Ukraine. That's because Joe wanted the country's top prosecutor fired. But why would the vice president of the United States care about the top prosecutor in a foreign country? Why would Biden demand that he be fired? Well, it just so happens that this prosecutor was investigating an Ukrainian company that was accused of corruption. And who sat on the board of directors of that company? Why, none other than Joe Biden's son, Hunter. What a coincidence. Now, like the phony politician that he is and the liar that he is, Joe Biden says there has not been any evidence in the media about this Biden-Biden scandal. True that, but it's because the mainstream media is in the tank for Biden. Still, Biden has a history of shooting himself in the foot. And whether it's the Ukraine or his touchy-feely issues or something else, Joe Biden has a problem, and it's himself. Only thing that stands in our way is our broken political system. Stop that's tape. Deliber Stop tape. There's nothing broken about our political system. The modern Democrat Party has gone off the rails and has now morphed into the modern Socialist Party. And the modern Republican Party has also gone off the rails and has now morphed into the old Democrat Party. I don't know what the Republican Party stands for anymore outside of Donald Trump. I have absolutely no clue. The political system is not broken. The system of government is broken. And you, Joe Biden, spent 36 years in the United States Senate and eight years as vice president, 44 years in Washington, D.C. And what did you do to fix broken government? Absolutely nothing. In fact, just the opposite. You threw gasoline on the fire. Uh, let's look at Social Security or, or Medicare, which are going broke. Social Security going to go broke in less than 10 years, the actuaries tell us. Uh, Medicare going to go broke in fewer than five, six years, the actuaries tell us. What have you done, Joe Biden, to make them solvent? Oh, you were part of the problem. You helped raid Social Security. So now there's just a bunch of IOUs in there. Did you try and tackle the $220 trillion unfunded liability that uh, Medicare and Social Security are part of? No, you made it worse. You're the reason, you're one of the reasons why there is a $220 trillion unfunded liability. What about the national debt? The national debt that now stands at somewhere in the neighborhood of $22 trillion. Well, as a United States senator, which you date back all the way to Jimmy Carter, 1978, the national debt was somewhere in the neighborhood of about $200 billion. Now we're at $22 trillion. And Joe, you never met an increase in spending that you didn't like. And did you ever talk to Barack Obama, your boss for eight years, about how he drove up the national debt under Obama, $10 trillion? It's not 100% Obama's fault, and it's not 100% Joe Biden's fault, but I bet you they never had that conversation. Certainly the Republicans are to blame for a lot of that debt, and a lot of that $22 trillion existing debt right now. But the bottom line is, Joe Biden has been the problem. He's been part of the swamp for the last 44 years in Washington, D.C. And for him to come out and insinuate that Donald Trump broke the system, he's the one who's helping to break the system, the governmental system, not the political system. Roll tape. Really being undermined by our president Stop to continue tape. to... No, 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 no. You got it backwards, Joe. Uh, it's the president of the United States who's been undermined by you and your administration, the Obama-Biden administration. We know what happened in 2016. And what was the hierarchy, by the way? It was, of course, Barack Obama, the chief executive. You were directly under Barack Obama. Uh, and then we had Susan Rice, 
And then we had James Comey, we had Clapper, we had Peter Strzok, we had Lisa Page, we had Andy McCabe, and all the other folks who conspired, yes, colluded, to try and prevent Donald Trump from winning the 2016 election. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.